What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So we're talking about Jeepers Creepers 4 again. Jeepers Creepers Reborn. Just to get this out of the way, talk about when I think the film will be arriving next year since we know it got pushed out of its fall 2021 release into sometime in 2022. Horror Hound, we know, recently confirmed their involvement with the film and how close they've been with the whole production and how they allow them to use their name, etc. And they shared that official still showing us the first look at the Horror Hound Festival in the film. They actually have a event coming up in Cincinnati, Horror Hound Weekend, Cincinnati, March 25th through the 22nd of 2022. So that week, which is a weekend because that's usually when those things happen. That weekend is when I think we'll get Jeepers Creepers Reborn released. I think that they'll have like even a screening of the film at the festival for those in attendance. And just, of course, it'll be released everywhere else in select theaters and VOD at the same time. I would imagine not going to be a wide theatrical release. I don't think so. I think it'll just be another limited theater release might be a Fathom event. Uh, since Fathom has said that they are, I guess, going to be bringing it into theaters 2022. So Fathom event plus VOD release at the same time. Plus, you get to see it if you're in attendance at the Horror Hound Film Festival in Cincinnati during the weekend of March 25th through the 27th. So March 25th, 2022, that weekend, that date, anything, anytime in that week is when I think we'll be seeing the film or when you'll have the chance to see the first Jeepers Creepers uh, G or see Jeepers Creepers 4 for the first time and about the trailer the trailer I would imagine would come out either early February late February if we're lucky we might get one trailer at the start of the at start of the new year on the first day of the new year that would be great and then another trailer closer to the release date in mid February early February maybe early March who knows uh, but jumping into what I primarily want to talk about in this video the poster for this movie the first poster that we got said that death gives it life and there was a baby carriage and I know we saw like a shadow of the creeper in the background or we saw the creeper in the background through all the smoke now I don't think there's going to be any like Nightmare on Elm Street 5 subplot here I don't think that at all I think that all that all that is just supposed to be symbolism as far as like death giving it life for anyone who's getting tripped up over that death does give it life I think that's just another way of referencing that every 23rd spring for 23 days it gets to eat but in a shortened phrase, death gives it life because it is killing people to recuperate itself and regenerate these parts. And it's keep it's helping all of that stuff that it does helps it maintain its own life and its own existence. So death does indeed give it life. So the other thing I want to talk about was regarding the whole Taggart Farm situation and the fact that I know in the synopsis, it says Lane feels that something has been summoned for the first time in 23 years. So. As far as like something being summoned, I don't think they're going to bring into the I don't think they're going to start messing with the mythos too much and show us that the creeper is actually something that gets summoned every 23 years. If they go that route, you are probably going to lose some people in the sense of now you're kind of making it seem like the creeper is not in full control. There's now a group of people out there who are doing dirty deeds. And, you know, it's kind of like just more of this typical paranormal activity narratives that we kind of been getting already from previous franchises in the 2010s like paranormal activity and other things that have been like paranormal activity where you have cults of people worshiping things and rising them and doing things for stuff in exchange it's just like i don't think many people are going to be satisfied with a narrative like that for jeepers creepers 4 what i think could happen though is that maybe there's again an online community who knows how wide the mythos have grown where the creeper is just there's just like speculation on how this thing were to be awakened if it comes out every 23rd spring maybe there's a ritual that has to be performed or maybe there's some type of uh sacrificial thing that has to happen and maybe a group of people will go out to the Taggart barn or will attempt to go out to the Taggart barn while let's say Taggart goes inside overnight uh let's just say that over if the intro is as long as I think it's gonna be I think it's gonna be quite short but this is just my own fan fiction at this point so let's say Taggart decides to go inside the barn or go inside his house from the barn overnight to go sleep of course leaving the creeper in there just hanging underneath the bat of the hell sign and some group of kids come along ready to perform some type of ritual that they again have kind of come to the conclusion of based off of their online discussions and speculation on what this thing is and how to bring it back that they're going to try to perform a ritual to bring the creeper back inside that barn they try to perform a ritual thinking that this is something that can be summoned and it doesn't work it doesn't work this will kind of just be another way for the movie to poke fun at that at that angle i guess just to kind of show you that no the creeper doesn't need to be summoned it's just going to wake up when it's time to wake up like a 
butterfly coming out of its cocoon so they try to do the ritual it doesn't work they leave but then we kind of see like a small twitch maybe of the creeper's foot or something twitching on the creeper signifying that it's almost time for it to wake up and then the next day taggart can go into the barn uh he of course doesn't know people came by there to try to summon that thing they waited for old man taggart to go back in his house taggart could go back to the barn he sits down or goes to sit down and notices that the creeper is gone the creeper is not there uh and then he gets killed by the creeper let's just say that happens and that's the first victim for the newly awakened creeper in jeepers creepers reborn he kills taggart eats whatever he needs from him of course to recuperate himself and regenerate anything that needs to be regenerated so he can look like his look like this um smaller statured creeper that we can expect to have throughout the film and then let's say he moves on to kill jack jr if we even get to see jack jr and then i think that's honestly just how the creeper the creeper's barn scenario would play out in my head if i was doing it like that when you're talking about if the creeper is going to be summoned or not i don't think this this is going to be a case where they're going to introduce witchcraft and you know something being summoned through a ritual i don't think they're going to do that with the creeper if anything i think we'll see an, a group of kids come along thinking that that's how this works only to find out it's not true they leave and then the next day the creeper awakens kills taggart goes out to the horror hound festival and will follow chase and lane and peter brooks character of Stu. learn a little bit more about him we know that we still have that interview from peter brook coming hopefully we'll learn some details about Stu from that interview no doubt the other thing I guess I wanted to share thoughts on was the Horror Hound Festival itself. Maybe they chose to have it in Louisiana because they heard about this monster, the creeper that exists within this area as like an urban legend. And it's supposed to awaken around this time as like the that's a prediction by everybody. They're supposed to awaken around this time. So to celebrate that, Horror Hound got involved, came out to Louisiana to host this event to see if the creeper awakens. Of course, because they believe it's all one big myth and they think it's a joke. Everyone's going to be proven wrong when they find out that the creeper is in fact real, comes to the festival and has gone on a killing spree. A hopefully very fun killing spree. Much, for, much more fun than the third trash film we got. But let me know what you guys think about that down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notification and then miss the video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.